Hello again, it's Izzy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rectangular highlighted area on your video clip inside Final Cut Pro. So if you have a section of your video that you wanna highlight with a rectangle, this is a workflow that you can use if you want, all within Final Cut Pro. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use this video clip here from Paper Clipping, my wife's scrapbooking show. Um, and let's say I wanna take this section right here and highlight it with a rectangle. Well, how can I do that? What I can do is just move my playhead to where I wanna start it, the highlighting. And let's say I'm gonna start it right there and then I'm gonna grab a generator from the generator's browser. It's a solid, I'm gonna use this one called custom. I'm just gonna click and drag and bring it out like this. I'll move the playhead over it so I can see that it's all black right now. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna reduce the transparency of that solid so that some of the underlying video shows through. So I'll just select it here, open up the inspector, go to the video tab there, scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna reduce the opacity down to about 90% or so. In fact, I'll just type 90 and then hit return. Okay, so now I can see it's partially transparent. I can barely see through it. Well, that's a good way to highlight, right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna cut a hole in this solid to let some of the underlying video show through so it's not darkened. Well, how do you cut a hole in something? Well, you use a mask. So let's do that. I'm gonna to go to the effects and under King, there's an option here called mask. I'll just click and drag and drop that right on my solid. Now I'm almost there. I'm almost where I need to be, but right now you can see it's dark inside the mask. What I wanna do is I want to invert it. So I'm gonna just check the invert mask. By the way, if you don't see this, just make sure you click the disclosure triangle here next to mask so you can see the options. I will click this to invert it. I can reposition it and reshape it using the on-screen control. So let's say I want it to be more of a rectangle like this. Now, one of the details that I should mention is that it's hard to get this exactly the way that you want it inside Final Cut Pro. If you want real precise control, it's probably better to go to motion, but if you just need to put together something pretty fast, this is definitely something that you can use. Okay, so now I have that where I want it. Now, let's say I want this to fade on and fade off. Well, what I can do is I can scroll up here and I'll just make sure that this is selected and hit Control V on the keyboard. That brings up the animation editor and I see this section called compositing opacity. I'm just gonna double click on it. And now I'll just grab some fader handles to make it so it fades in over maybe 15 frames or so. That's about a half a second with this video clip. All right, and same thing for fading out. In fact, uh, let's trim it and make it a lot shorter here. Okay, so let's play through this and take a look. Um, I cut it down eyeballing it. And the shape right now is not perfect. I'm gonna grab this again. And to make some adjustments to the on-screen controls, I have to make sure I have my mask selected here in the inspector, and then I can adjust this, make it a little bit straighter. Okay, maybe something like that. Let's take a look. Um, I cut it down eyeballing it, and I just put some tape. Okay, so that gives me the effect that I'm going for. I have a rectangular mask, and I'm using it to highlight a section of the video clip, all within Final Cut Pro. Now, as I mentioned, if you want detailed control, it takes longer, but you can send this to motion, do the work there, and then bring it back. Maybe I'll show that in a follow-up video. In the meantime, hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.